Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy card using a couple of our butterfly punches and some coordinating stamp sets. This is a great card to make using our designer series paper stacks and whisper white cardstock. You're going to start with the designer series paper stack and we're going to cut it to four inches by five and a quarter and we're going to layer this onto whisper white cardstock. Add adhesive around all the edges. The Whisper White cardstock is 8.5 by 5.5 and, and it's scored down the middle at 4 and a quarter. And we're going to layer this directly on top. We have another piece of Whisper White cardstock. This is cut 2 and 1 8 by 3 and a half. And we're going to punch the larger butterfly out of the middle section first. This is the Elegant Butterfly Punch. You're going to slide this up to open it. You're going to place the cardstock in as far as it will go. And then you're going to make sure that it's centered from the left to the right. And give that a squeeze. I'm going to use a stamp set called Lacy and Lovely. And we're going to use Wisteria Wonder ink. I'm going to tap tap on the ink pad and center this right above the butterfly. I'm also going to add a decorative image across the bottom and I'm going to use this one here from the stamp set called Mosaic Madness. Now this is a longer stamp and I want to have the design of this stamp centered across the bottom. So what I'm going to do is tap tap on the ink pad. I'm going to stamp it on my grid paper first. Now before I lift it up I'm going to mark this line here where I lined up the left side of the block. And then I'm going to mark the bottom of the block. I'm kind of creating a, a stamp-a-ma-jig without a stamp-a-ma-jig. So this is going to tell me where to line up the block, the left side and the bottom. Now what I can do is slide this over and I'm going to get this right up where I want the image to be and I'm going to center the sides of the cardstock into the middle of one of these images. And we'll see how that works. So we'll go back to the ink pad, tap tap, and I'm going to line up the left side right where I marked it on the grid paper and the bottom as well. So you can see it's fairly even on the left side and the right side. So it's kind of an easy way to use your grid paper as a stamp -a jig So now we can add dimensionals underneath. And then I also want to have one in the middle here. I'm just going to snip a couple of those and then that'll fit right in there. We're going to go ahead and layer this onto the top of our card. Because we've got polka dots that are fairly symmetrical, we can use them to help us line up this part here. So just go a little bit above the paper and then you can see how I can follow this row of dots all the way down. So now we're going to add a little butterfly in the center. We're going to go back to Wisteria Wonder ink and we're going to use a stamp set called Papillon Potpourri. We're going to stamp this on scratch Whisper White cardstock. Just tap tap on your ink pad. Press firmly on the paper. We have another butterfly punch. This one is called Bitty Butterfly Punch. So we're going to turn the punch upside down, slide the latch open, hold this in one hand, get it centered right inside, and give that a good squeeze. We're going to add some rhinestones to the center of the butterfly. Most of the time I will slice with my X-Acto blade right between these little rhinestones. That way I can use them individually. I think you can see the little slice marks here because they are stuck all together. When I'm doing butterfly bodies I like to leave them connected and I'm going to cut them in sections of three so then I can pull them up three at a time and I don't have to work as hard to line up the three rhinestones. I like to use a pokey tool to get under the adhesive so I'm just going to kind of scoot it under just to make sure that the adhesive is still stuck to the back of the rhinestones. And you can see how these stayed together. So it's nice and easy to just lay them across the body. 
all at the same time. So a trick is to go ahead and bend your wings after you have the rhinestones on. We can add our glue dots and the glue dots are on the outside edge so you can just press it right to the glue dot and it'll lift it up. The glue dot is slightly larger than this little section here so anything that pokes out just fold it onto itself. So now we're going to put a little dimensional on each side of the wing to keep those propped up. I like to use this little space between the dimensionals on this edge. I think they fit perfectly for those tiny butterfly wings. So we're just going to cut that little rectangle piece out. You could also cut these smaller if you want to, but I try to use up the edges first. And I still will use my pokey tool to lift that up. And you're going to place it right on the back. I don't pull off the paper backing. I just let that stay attached to the dimensional because I don't want that to stick to the card. I just want this to keep the wings propped up. And we're just going to repeat this on the other side. So now we're going to add this to the center of this punched opening. And you're just going to line up the rhinestones right in the middle and press that down. And because we have the dimensionals on the wings, it keeps them propped up. Isn't that cute? So it's a fast and easy card that you can create in just minutes. And you can make a whole pile of these using different colors from the paper stacks. These are using the new end colors, the 2013, 2015 end colors. And when you get the paper stacks, you actually get four different designs. So you have this kind of, um, I think it's like a fancy fan design. You also have a chevron, and you saw the polka dots here. And on the reverse side of the polka dots is another little zigzaggy kind of design. So this is a quick and easy card. You can use up a lot of your designer series paper, especially those paper stacks. It's a great deal. And you can whip these up in no time. I hope you enjoyed this project. For more ideas, you can visit me at keenancreations.com. Thanks and have a great day.